You're right guys, it's Capgun Tom here and welcome to another episode of FIFA Through the Years. Now today we're going to be looking at some of the best central midfielders on Ultimate Team this year. Now we've looked at a lot of central midfielders in the last couple of weeks. We looked at the best passers, so the likes of Xavi Iniesta, Xavi Alonso were all looked at. We also had a look at the best to enter defensive mid, so we've looked at like Yaya Torre and uh, De Rossi, a whole load of others as well. And there's some that I thought, you know, I really want to have a look at these players because they are really good players. And just, they didn't really fit into anything else. So I thought I'd just make this video so that we could have a look at them. Anyway, before we get into it, if you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team Coins, go check out futcoinking.com. Their link will be down in the description. A fast, cheap and reliable coin service. Use code CAP5 at checkout for a discount. Now, we're going to dive in with our first player. And it is going to be Modric. Now, Modric is an 85 rated this year. He's actually the lowest rated player in this video for this year. Um, being only 85, everyone's like 87 or 88 for the uh, other players that we're going to look at. But Modric, I thought that it'd be interesting to look at someone who wasn't Spanish or German because the other players are all Spanish or German. But you can see he has an 85 rated card this year. Highest ever card, 88 rated when he was a Spurs on FIFA 12. He actually went up from an 82 rated card to an 88 in one season. That's absolutely crazy. He started off as an 81 rated card on FIFA 10. So quite a lowly rated card. And that's, a, that's like a recurring thing that goes on through all of these players. They all started pretty low and have gone up quite a lot of stat points in the last couple of years. Anyway, looking at Modric's informs, you can see he had an upgrade on FIFA 11 to an 84 rated card. He had an inform to an 86 rated card. He had an 89 rated inform on FIFA 12, which went for absolutely loads of co coins, and it was very, very rare because it came out in the first couple of weeks. And then he had an inform on FIFA 13 and FIFA 14. So lots of informs for Modric, and um, pretty much getting one every year except on FIFA 10. Okay, moving on to our next player, and we are looking at Ozil. So Ozil is 87 rated this year, obviously playing for Arsenal, but before that he was playing for Real Madrid. He actually started on uh, started off at Werder Bremen as a 76 rated cam on FIFA 10 and uh, the funny thing is as soon as he got his upgrade or he got a, a transfer card to Real Madrid he got a boost of 10 points overall does EA favour the big teams and give their players higher ratings? I think this might be some sort of evidence to support that theory, but you can see there his uh, FIFA 10 card was pretty good. He had three informs on FIFA 11, an 85, an 86, and an 87 rated inform. He then had an inform on FIFA 12 and a team of the season card, which actually took him up to a 91 rated centre attacking mid with 97 passing and 95 dribbling. Those are kind of crazy stats. FIFA 13, he managed to get an inform as well, 88 rated overall, as well as his inform that he managed to get this year, which again was 88 rated overall while he's been at Arsenal. Okay, next up we're going to be looking at the highest rated player of all of them today and it is Bastian Schweinsteiger. So the German international, you can see he is 88 rated overall this year and he started off as a 79 rated right mid on FIFA 10. So he has changed a heck of a lot, getting a boost of 9 rating points and also changing from a right midfielder to a central midfielder. And um, yeah, he's got some really, really good stats. I mean, this year, 86 passing, 83 dribbling, 80 defending, 81 shooting. You know, those are very, very strong stats. And if we have a look at his informs, you can see he actually got an upgrade on FIFA 10 or an inform. And it went to a, uh, an 86 rated right mid, which, you know, again, is a boost of seven stat points. He had an 87 rated inform on FIFA 11. He had a team of the season on FIFA 12. He had an inform on FIFA 13, as well as a team of the season, his highest rated card ever. That 91 rated uh, team of the season on FIFA 13 with 92 passing 88 shooting, 91 dribbling, 86 defending, 80 heading and 71 pace really really strong card and uh, yeah, Bastian Schweinsteiger another player that didn't make it into any other videos but definitely worth having a look at Okay, next up, we're going to be looking at David Silva. So David Silva, another player that started off on the wing and has moved central, starting off at Valencia, 80 rated overall as a left mid. Very good stats for an 80 rated card though. 85 pace, 88 dribbling, 84 shooting, 78 passing. And you can see that once he moves central, his sort of like passing stats have gone up a heck of a lot. They've gone up to 86 now on his current card. He's 88 rated overall at Man City. He did actually have a transfer card on FIFA 10 where he came to Man City, but it's exactly the same as Valencia card so I didn't think it was worth putting in the video but he did have an inform on FIFA 11 you can see that's 87 rated centre attacking mid card he had loads of informs and upgrades on FIFA 12 he had an upgrade to an 88 he also had an inform before that which was an 88 rated cam 
um, and people got pissed off. That's why EA have done what they've done this year with the informs. Like when they upgrade a player, the informs also get an upgrade because you know people had that 88 rated center attacking mid, which was worth like two or three hundred thousand coins, and then you know an upgrade drops and he's worth absolutely nothing because the same card is available in packs again. He also had an 89 rated right wing card as well as a team of the season card, which was 91 rated overall. Very nice card there. He had an inform on FIFA 13 as well, which was left mid. So he's had left mid cards, right mid cards, right wing cards, centre attacking mid cards, centre mid cards. He's had pretty much every card under the sun that um, involves a midfield position. Well, as long as it's not a defensive mid position, because you can see there he only has 48 defending on that card. And he only has 46 defending on his card this year. Anyway, moving on to our next player. And it's actually going to be our final player of this video. And it is Juan Mata. You can see another Valencia player that has moved into the BPL. Started off as an 81 rated left wing on FIFA 10, went up to an 82 rated card on FIFA 11, then he came to Chelsea, was immediately an 85 rated card as a left wing and then on FIFA 13 he moved central, centre attacking mid, 86 rated overall and this year he is an 87 rated centre attacking mid, so it's highest card that he's ever been given by default and you can see his informs here, he had the, um, well he had the inform left wing card at Valencia 86 rated overall which obviously helped him get that bump of one stat point the next year. Then he had the 85 and 86 rated informs on FIFA 11. He had the informs on FIFA 12. He also had an upgrade as well to an 86 rated card. But uh, again, what happened with David Silva happened with Mata. As you can see, he had an 86 rated inform before that. He also got an 88 rated card, uh, team of the season card. So plenty of informs for Mata. He had more on FIFA 13 as well. He had the inform right mid card, which actually wasn't very good. I didn't enjoy using that card at all. Did make a video on it, but no, I just didn't enjoy it. And uh, a team of the season as well, a 90 rated card, that's I think his highest ever card. And then my favourite card that he's ever had, of course, it is his Man United transfer card. And uh, I'm not trying to wind anyone up, but you know, obviously him coming to Man United is a massive um, boost for us. And I really hope he does well for Man United. Anyway, there you go, guys. That is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed watching. Obviously, if you could subscribe, that would be amazing. Um, drop the video a like if you've enjoyed it. I think I'm streaming at the moment, so go over to my Twitch channel. It's twitch.tv slash capguntom and I will be streaming some FIFA so make sure you head over there. Above that I'm going to have to leave it there and I will see you all next time.